Hello, this is Rob here from robcoven.com. I just want to show you how to put images into a WordPress post. And we have a WordPress post here, and I would advise you to always have an image somewhere at the top so it's above the fold of the article. I just want to show you the image I've got here. I've called it Blogging WordPress, so I've put some keywords in there. And if we look at it in Photoshop, it's a nice big image. It's 500 pixels wide by 300 pixels deep. So we want to put the image in its own paragraph so we do a paragraph return there and then we go add media. You can either drag the image here or you can go upload files and if you look over to the right hand side attachment details unfortunately WordPress always puts the file name of the image in where it says title and I would say that most of the time you would want to delete that. There's no reason to have a title that is a tool tip that springs up when someone's mouse hovers over the image and I believe you should only have a title if it is a link and if you have a normal image that is just decorative in a WordPress post then it shouldn't be a link and it doesn't need to have a title. It does always need to have an alt text though. I wouldn't also bother with caption unless you really need to say something about the image or description but it will always need an alt text because it's good for SEO and it's good for accessibility. So let's give a good keyword rich description of that image. So I've got a few keywords in there. Now at the bottom, if the image is in its own paragraph as this one is, then I would usually align it center. The link, I would always have that as none. There is no good reason to have it linked to a media file as many people do because then your user will just click through to another version of that image. And here you can choose choose a size. I've sized this to the size I want it in Photoshop but if you can't do that you would need to choose a preset that would be determined by your theme. So insert into post. There it is. I'll save that so we can have a look at it in the preview and as you can see the post is looking much nicer with that image there. Just have a quick look into the text so we can see the HTML. Here's your image the, the class there, Align Center, will make sure it is centered in the CSS. There's the alt text that I entered and there's no title, so that's how we want it. So now I'd like to show you how you would put an image right inside a paragraph so the text flows around it. And this is totally different from where you put an image as a paragraph. The way you do this is by having your cursor right at the beginning of the paragraph and then clicking Add Media. And you would want to choose a very much smaller image. So 150 pixels wide or something like that. So I'll do it this way this time. Upload files and a little picture of me there which is only 150 pixels wide. So again I'll get rid of the title and put in the alt text and the alignment would have to be left or right in this case. Only do left or right when the cursor is at the beginning of the paragraph. Do center or none if the cursor is on its own in between paragraphs. Again link to none and we'll keep it as the full size there because it's small enough. So insert into post and you'll notice it looks like a dog's dinner here unfortunately but that's only in this preview. Save draft and preview it to see how it looks and there it is. So it goes inside a paragraph with the text running around it. Okay, I hope that helped explain a little bit about how to insert images to WordPress blog posts. My name's Rob from robcoven.com. Goodbye.